Okay, so the idea of flaky and fluffy don't necessarily go together, but that is exactly the type of Chinese buns that we will be making today. The buns are from Yunnan, which is a southwestern province in China, essentially um, very close to Thailand. But um, I originally saw these buns first made by Dan Xi Xiaoge on her channel, and Originally, I just thought it was just a way of her adding some extra lard and some extra fat to um, to an otherwise normal bun, um, and and I didn't think anything of it. But um, I started seeing more and more um, videos of it. It's actually called Po Su Bao, and um, and I just thought it was amazing because you actually make these layers in the buns and. They are both fluffy and flaky at the same time, so it makes for an amazing mouthfeel. I thought that I would uh, start sharing what from what region um, these recipes were with you guys, since we since we tend to do a lot of uh, stuff from China. But so you might as well know like exactly where it is geographically and and make sense of all of that in terms of you know like the weather and the vegetation there and 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 learn a little bit more um, about the region. So uh, yeah, it's really cool buns. Um, yeah, I hope you guys all enjoy. We will start uh, making it now. So I have some water. Recipes all going to be down below. Just gonna put in some yeast, make sure everything is dissolved. Just some instant yeast. Just add some sugar, just for some flavor, actually. You don't have to do this. We have our all-purpose flour. Add a little bit of baking powder, and that's just going to make the buns extra fluffy in a minimal amount of time. Dough itself should be actually on the wetter side. It's supposed to be quite a quite a fluffy bun, so that means there's just more water content. So couple of minutes, six to seven minutes, until the dough ball is fairly smooth. Okay, so eventually it kind of looks like this. Uh, somewhat smoother, so we're gonna put it aside, warm place, for about an hour to rise. Okay, so I have decided for the filling to make it quite easy uh, on myself, so I found this, which is like a five spice or like a pre-marinated um, tofu at the store, and I've tried it on rice before. It's actually quite quite flavored it's quite seasoned and it's just like really pressed up tofu so it's readily it's pretty useful to substitute as meat but sometimes like I'll cut these up and uh, dried shiitake mushrooms that I have rehydrated and then this is just some uh, potato starch noodles You can also use vegetables if you wanted to, greens. Okay, so in continuation of making this really easy for ourselves, you can do like a store-bought, this is like a vegan oyster sauce, stir-fry sauce thing. 
bit of garlic powder. And then what's supposed to happen here is, is apparently, this is supposed to be like a, like a chili oil type thing where the chili oil escapes from the filling and then some of it bleeds through the bun. So that's what's supposed to happen. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of chili oil. You're not even gonna notice it. Um, yeah, so we'll just, all right, give, give that a taste. You might need, uh, you might need to adjust it with some sugar maybe. So we can do that and just try a bit. Mmm, that's really good. <laughs> All right, that's, I think that's enough. We'll stop there. Normally, uh, this next step is done through lard. And obviously with this being a vegan recipe, I, I have found treks, guys. Um, we're gonna use shortening for this um, instead. And there's not a set amount, but I think um, it's gonna be around like three tablespoons for the amount of dough that we're making. And you're just gonna, you know, spread it liberally, um, have, the, have it be a thin layer, but not, uh, but not too thin. And we're gonna start creating some layers now. Okay, so here's our boy here. Um, what I'm gonna do is I've, I've oiled the board just a little bit. Fermentation just develops the flavor a little bit more. Gets things nice. So I like to wake this up just a little bit. We're gonna fold it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna roll it out. So try to not add flour or oil. See here it's it's thin, but not, not really that thin, actually. Probably do about maybe three tablespoons or so of vegetable shortening. Mm. as you all can guess, is going to be what creates uh, the layer, the layers in the bread. So yeah, I would, <laughs> I'd say about two, two to three tablespoons, I think. So stretch and roll. And then what you end up doing is you get thinner layers, but more layers as you kind of pull, stretch, roll the dough. You don't don't squish them down like this we'll squish it down like this so that the layers are currently happening <laughs> it's just a little bit pointless to roll just because it's it's actually quite slick so we'll just do it with our fingers
and then yeah haphazardly just bring this together very very sticky We're gonna do 